wrong with my haul videos. What I want to do is have one haul per week of everything I picked up in a week. I want to show you it all in this video. So let's start off with Almo. Uh, this was like five bucks at a, at a store called Tuesday Morning. And I was like, childhood, childhood right here. So I picked him up and he's gonna go, um, if you can see that, I got a bookshelf there with a bunch of plushies on top. He's gonna go on that shelf and he's gonna sit there and I got him now. Um, I picked up a Jack Ryan book at, uh, I don't remember where I picked this up, Coat of Honor, I love Jack Ryan. I need to read the actual Jack Ryan books. Uh, but I, I really enjoy the movies. I have them all on 4K. And I have a 4K steelbook of uh, Hunt for October. But I also own like the 4K collection. So I really love Hunt for Red October. We got this Baby Yoda Funko Pop. Found this at Walmart. It's got a little egg catcher. Um, so this hasn't appeared in Season 2 yet. So I, I don't know what the deal is with this. Uh, I don't know anything about it. But it's, it's Baby Yoda. So cool. I got a little lamp here I found on clearance at Walmart of Baby Yoda. I don't know. It's, I thought it was cool. So I picked that up. I have a lot of Baby Yoda stuff. So uh, found this at Target on sale. It was like five bucks. Thoron. I don't know. What is this word here? I don't know. I think it's Adency of Chaos. Uh, Chaos Rising. This is the first book. I believe in a new trilogy or series of Thrawn books. I know there was like the original trilogy, which is written by Timothy Zahn, who's also wrote this book. So I have to read that. Um, I picked up the Crudes on 4K. Crudes 2 just came out. I won't be reviewing it, sadly. My theater's closed actually the week before this movie came out, but Crudes came out in 4K. I was like, <coughs> you're good. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed The Crude somewhat. It's not a great movie. I don't really care for it too much. But I want to own every DreamWorks movie except for Boss Baby. So that adds to the collection. Um, speaking of every DreamWorks movie ever made, I own Trolls World Tour now because I own Trolls. And, I, and I, they're guilty pleasures. I enjoy them. And so I picked I pick this one up to add to the collection. Uh, we bought it digitally, but, you know, a lot of these weird... See, it's amazing. Every movie that I bought digitally, because they only released digitally this year, because theater, because of what's going on with theaters this year, I've rebought. So, uh, it's like, probably spent 50 bucks on each of these movies. Which is crazy, but, yeah. But it's 4K, so... I have to own the physical copy. And then we here's the ultimate DreamWorks holiday collection. So this includes a lot of shorts that come with the collections. Like I have the Shrek collection. All the Shrek shorts come with that collection. Madagascar, same thing. Um, I own the Kung Fu Panda collection. I don't think the Kung Fu Panda holiday one comes with it. Uh, we got the uh, same thing with the How to Train Your Dragon one. The Trolls one, nope. Uh, Rise of the Guardians is just a movie I needed in general. So this helps out. And it was home for the holidays. And part Target was... Target. Target was doing a buy one, get one uh, deal on their movies and books. And there wasn't really anything in the books I wanted. So I picked up this because it, it was really cheap. I think it was like five bucks. Then I picked up Home Alone 3 on DVD. Now I just reviewed this um, on Sunday. And um, I own it, all the Home Alone movies in a collector set. But I pulled my copy of Home Alone 3, the little DVD in the set. Uh, it was so poorly packaged that when I pulled it out, I'd never watched this movie. Keep mind you, scratches galore. It played fine. It, it played fine, but there were so many scratches without me even watching it. I just said, well, you know what? It's time to actually buy these movies separately. So this was five bucks. And they didn't have a Blu-ray because this movie doesn't have a Blu-ray. It's not a good movie, so I don't really care too much. But yeah, so I have to get it on DVD. And Home Alone 2 is not on 4K, unlike the original. She's like, why didn't you put out both at the same time? I would have bought both. But whatever. Um, we got Home Alone. This was 6 bucks. So, basically, I got Home Alone 3 for free. And that was the deal. And it was a good deal. Then I picked up Peninsula, uh, the sequel to Train to Busan. Which I've seen Train to Busan. Great movie. 
Uh, this is also a great movie. Um, I, I hadn't watched it until now, until I picked it up, and I really loved it. Great sequel to a great movie. I also picked up Wonder Park. Uh, this was a movie I missed in theaters. It's a Nickelodeon movie. It's, it's the first ever film without a credited director. Don't watch it. It's a mess. Uh, it's horrible, and it's really dark and kind of weird, and I think a lot of kids might actually be frightened by this movie and really hate it because it's also very boring and not fun to watch. It's a miserable movie, just terrible, and you wouldn't expect that from a movie titled Wonder Park, but yeah. And they don't even call it Wonder Park in the movie. They call it Wonderland. I guess they were maybe worried about being sued because they're calling their movie wonderland like alice in wonderland but like who's gonna sue you for that because it's not you're not titling it alice in wonderland so i don't know uh i picked up nightmare before christmas this was also one of those things where i went through the gar target a buy one get one deal um because i picked up three movies this was ten dollars and my copy does not have a slip cover this has more bonus features it also is a sing-along edition and so i was like Okay, I'll get both. And, yeah, I have both copies of the movie now. I own two copies of my second favorite movie of all time. This was five bucks, A Christmas Carol. I've never seen this version, um, but it was really cheap, and I got it free. And then part of their Black Friday deals, they had the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy uh, for $10. Um, now, I, these are Blu-ray. I would prefer to have them on 4K, but my thing about it was this. The first two are in 4K. No, the first three. And, well, the only three. But they're all in 4K. Okay, you can buy them. But they're not in a collection in 4K. You'd have to go buy them individually separately. So it'd be like $50, $60 by the time you're done. Unless you get them at a really good deal. Which they rarely are good deals. I've looked. And so $10 for three movies. Not 4K. I will do that because it's just bull crap that there was not a 4K collection of these. But $10. Great deal. So I picked that up. And then I picked up Tron on Blu-ray. Uh, Tron is not a great movie. I know a lot of people love Tron. Uh, I, I, I will be honest. I like it. Um, I don't love Tron. Uh, Tron is uh, kind of... It was trying to be like Star Wars where it was like Star Wars was a big deal in the 70s because it was like revolutionary with its effects and stuff. And I think that's great uh, that it tried to do that, but it failed. Uh, the movie, they wanted this movie to be as successful as Star Wars. They expected it to be more successful than Star Wars and it wasn't. It bombed horribly. Um, it's become like a cult thing. It's really popular now, but when we think about Tron, Tron is not a good movie. Uh, it, it's kind of, it's an amazing effect, but like, it's still not good. Uh, the story is kind of, there isn't a story that's comprehensible, and that's what Star Wars was. Star Wars had a cool universe and cool effects, but it had a story and characters that people connect with. That's why this didn't work, is because it doesn't have that. I like some of the uh, religious allegories kind of within the film. I really like that part of the movie. However, that's not what people want. But it was a... But yeah, I enjoy the movie. I like it. You know, it's just... I just... I don't want to call it a good movie because it's not. Uh, but it was... It was like five bucks on Blu-ray and a Disney movie for five bucks. And so, yeah, great deal. I picked up Alita Battle Angel. This was another... Black Friday deal. I think it was like five bucks on 4K. Uh, I have not watched this. Uh, people have told me to watch this. I had many opportunities to see it in the theater. And I see everything in the theater. And this was just one I was just like, no, thank you. I'm not going to go see Alita. Uh, I know nothing about the anime or manga or whatever the hell it's based on. It's just, it, it didn't grab me. And I've tried to sit at home. I uh, watch it a few times uh, because uh, I've had family members who own, own like the movie and they're like, you got to watch this. I'm like, cool. I sit down, watch it for five minutes and I shut it off. So I don't know why I bought it, but I feel like I need to watch it. So I'm going to try to again. 
I picked up Sonic the Hedgehog, the collector's edition. Uh, this includes like some mini posters and some extra bonus features. Um, uh, the mini posters, here, let me go grab it. So they're on my bulletin board. Um, so there's four of them. Two of them are pretty lame. They were just like the human characters with their name. And I'm like, nobody wants a poster of a mini character of a human character from this movie. You know, they, the the why people enjoy the movie is not the human characters. It's Sonic. Um, so I was just like, that's pretty lame. So I I threw those away. But yeah, that's about it. I, I own a steelbook of the movie in 4K, but I, I, I want to own it not in a steel book too because steel books scratch and yeah straight out of competent I haven't seen it I need to watch it I picked up a Krusty the Clown Treehouse of Horror Pop because it's Krusty the Clown so I don't even remember what episode that's from I I'm so bad at remembering which Treehouse of Horror is writ a uh, witch. Which? <laughs> That's not a pun. It could be if you want it to be, so I don't know. But um I got this Coraline NECA figure, which wow. This is actually like I believe the exact size of the actual stop motion puppets. It's it works like a stop motion puppet. It's very bendy, uh and twisty and stuff. It's really well done figure. It comes on a little base. Wow, I mean this thing looks exactly like it just came out of the movie. I mean, perfect figure. I love this figure. One of my favorite figures of all time. Um, and then I got this uh, McFarlane Toys Arkham Asylum Batman. Look at the paint on that thing. The cape. Just everything about it. I love this figure. I need to get, I need to get Joker. Because, you know, you can't have Arkham Asylum Batman without Arkham Asylum Joker. Because you just need it. And then I picked up the Terminator 6 film collection. Um, so here's the thing. Two of the Terminator films are in 4K. Uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which I, I have heard terrible things about that 4K. And Dark Fate, cool. Uh, why would you not put Terminator 1 in 4K? I don't know. So I just was like, I'll just settle for the 6 film collection because I don't own any of these movies. If I come across Terminator 2 for like 5 bucks in 4K, grab it. If I come across Dark Fate, 4K, grab it. But uh, other than that, no thank you. So we got Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Terminator 3 The Fate of the Machines, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis, and Terminator Dark Fate. I'll be honest, I haven't seen Terminator 2. Or Terminator. Or any of the movies. So I have to watch them. I'm sure the sequels are great. Because everybody loves the Terminator sequels. Everybody. Unanimous. Unanimous. Unanimously. Agrees that the Terminator sequels are great. And finally. We got some Baby Yoda figures. So we got this one, he's in a little sleeping bag, he's eating a frog, this one he's drinking soup, this one he's eating a, all cute, this one he's doing a force push, this one he's doing his little, uh, holding the little ball, and that's the six. So I have these Put him pushing back the fire. Him in the stormtrooper helmet. Uh, he, him holding the little Boba Fett medallion. Because that's Boba Fett symbol if you didn't know. Uh, him in a little bag. We got him pushing little buttons. You got him in his little hover chair. So yeah, I have the complete set basically now. Um, I have all these little Yodas. And they all sit out here on my little CD shelf. Um, 
and the cute. That's what their job is. So, uh, so there's about nine of these if you want to collect them. Nine. Uh, so if you don't want to hunt them, the best way, way I would say to get them is they're about sixteen bucks for two off of Amazon. Uh, so you can get two of them together for about fifteen bucks, fifteen, sixteen bucks somewhere in there. Um, and if you get them separately, I think they're about eight bucks. So it's the same price, except you guarantee them and you get them in a set together. So I recommend that. Um, I have every single one now. They're all on display. <laughs> Very cute figures. I, I want the, These are just a great idea for figures. I really enjoy them and I have every single one. So all nine. Nine figures. And I guarantee if, when season three comes along, there will be more and I will get more. So, but yeah, that's everything I got here for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next week's weekly haul video.